Hey everyone, this is Magnus from Travel Experience TV. Today I am in beautiful Venice and we're gonna take a look at some things you absolutely must not miss when you are here. The best way to discover a city is to walk around and just enjoy the surroundings and the atmosphere. Wherever you go, you will find something new and interesting. Venice is like no other city in the world, with canals, impossible buildings and beautiful piazzas, so take your time. Venice is the capital of gondolas. For centuries the gondola was a major means of transportation and the most common watercraft within Venice. Today they mostly serve as a tourist attraction but also as traghetti, a small ferry over the Canal Grande. The rent of a private gondola in Venice has a fixed price at 80 euros for a private 25 to 30 minutes tour. A lot but it's worth it. The Rialto Bridge is the oldest of the four bridges spanning the Canal Grande and also one of the most famous landmarks in the world. It was first built as a pontoon bridge in 1173 and was for many years the only land connection over the canal. One of the best ways to get a view of daily life and astonishing palazzos is to take some time at the Canal Grande. There are two ways to best enjoy daily life around Canal Grande. The first one is to take the Vaporetto, the water bus. The price of a Vaporetto ticket is 750 euros and it lasts for 75 minutes. The other way is to buy your favorite coffee to go and take your place at the Rialto Bridge where you can enjoy the views. Piazza San Marco is the principal square of Venice and generally known just as La Piazza. The square is said to be the most beautiful square in the world and I absolutely agree. Wherever you find yourself in the city you will find directions to the square painted on the buildings. This makes La Piazza easy to find even without a map. Piazza San Marco was named the drawing room of Europe by Napoleon. Basilica di San Marco is the cathedral of Venice and at the same time the most visited tourist destination in the city. The building was built in the 11th century, but has only been the city's cathedral since 1807. One of the main landmarks is Palazzo Ducale, a palace built in Venetian Gothic style. It was built in 1340 and was the residence of the Ducale of Venice. The 99 meters high campanile is the bell tower of St. Mark's Basilica and also the highest building in all of Venice. Before continuing our tour, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're getting value out of this video, smash the like button and comment below. Italian food isn't a treat you will find only in Venice, but my recommendation is to have some delicious seafood at a local trattoria. Maybe a pasta vongole, like I had. Venice offers so many nice restaurants along the canals. And the food is delicious. Ponte de Sosperi, or the Bridge of Sighs, connects Palazzo Ducale with the Prigioni Prison. When sentenced to prison, the prisoners walk this way to their cells, and the myth tells us of the heavy sighs heard here. 
The most famous prisoner that walked the bridge was Giacomo Casanova, who later managed to escape via the prison roof. Venetian Gothic is the local architecture style for Venice of Italian Gothic architecture. The influences are from Byzantine architecture, some from Islamic architecture as well as local Gothic architecture, reflecting the Venice trading network. If you're interested in cultural history, this is absolutely the place to be. Thank you for watching this movie and feel free to take a look at the video from the channel.